What's up guys? Welcome to Simple Shit TV. I am your host, Alvin Holden, and Simple Shit TV is an educational channel where we take really complicated situations and we bring them down to really small bite-sized pieces. And seeing as how I am a black male, this is a black male channel, meaning uh, we're going to focus on things that affect people that look like me. Um, just to let you guys know, um, I am going to highlight uh, not only a creator, but a, uh, a, a one of the leading minds um, in the African American community, um, Dr. T. S. On Johnson thing on him, but I just want to highlight him really quick. And I want to highlight a story that um, that I heard um, recently on one of his lives. Um, I <clears throat> suggest highly that you go take a listen. The link will be in the description. Um, maybe uh, subscribe and uh, um, support that brother uh, because um, he does really great things. Um, smooth voice, uh, communicates very well. But he was telling a story and uh, you know he told a story about something that kind of resonated with me. And um, I wanted to, one, share the story with you um, quickly first. Um, and then from there, we will, uh, kind of just talk about it on the other side. So the first, first conversation, a colleague of mine, real good brother, real good heart, brilliant cat, really well, yeah, in reality, all three of them are brilliant. So that just is what it is. But anyway, talking to this brother, he's a little younger than me and he was talking about an experience he had in a relationship. And he came to realize in retrospect that he had only once dated an African-American woman, which tripped me out. They all been black, but he just made an observation. He said, you know, I didn't realize till this very moment that, uh, you know, this, uh, you know, I've only been in a relationship with one. And he said, uh, the thing that he could not wrap his head around and he wasn't trying to, um, you know, he wasn't trying to pathologize African-American women. He actually came to this observation very slowly and, and almost kind of sadly, you know, he didn't want to do it, but he said, I, you know, I got to be real. He said, the only time I did, um, he said, she had this thing for fighting with him, right? She had this thing for arguing with him, physically confronting him, right? She took joy in it. She got excited about it. It lifted her and even sometimes turned her on, but it was a constant. And he's a real laid back cat. He just did not really have the patience for all of that, you know, but it was nonetheless, that was her thing, you know. Once again, it's simple shit. We just try to keep things simple. Try not to get too caught up. African women, American women call cops on African American men more than anybody else. Gentlemen, the rules are set up so that if there's an altercation, you go to jail, you're the one in trouble, you're the one that has things to lose. It's not fair, but it's just the way that it is. And as men, as African-American men particularly, we need to do or make sure that we do a great job of reducing risk. What do I mean by that? If your license and registration isn't legit, don't drive. Just don't take the risk. If you gotta walk, leave early and walk. If you gotta take the bus, take the bus. Work hard, get some overtime, and, and, and try not to put yourself in a situation where you can get in trouble. If you're living with your girl, like if you're at her place, her name is on the lease, you need to start working, get your shit together, and get out of there as quickly as you possibly can. If you've got a significant other that is fairly comfortable putting their hands on you, you shouldn't let them. This is not, this is not normal. And you're setting up yourself up for failure later. I know that there's a lot of men out there that are taking abuse from their women and they're too embarrassed to pull the plug. Men, these ladies will be your downfall. If you're in a situation where a woman is putting her hands on you, you need to start planning your exit. If you don't already have your exit planned, you need to start planning your exit. 
if you know someone whose significant other is putting their hands on on them, you need to talk to them and you need to tell them that they need to get themselves out of the situation that they're in. You know as well as I do how, vo how volatile these situations can be, right? Um, I've only seen them. I've never had anybody do anything crazy to me, throw knives, shoot guns, get me all charged up. I'm generally in my relationships, uh, don't get very, I'm not very excitable in my relationships. And I would, I would, if I could give any man any advice from myself to you, and you don't have to take it, is don't let a woman make you emotional ever about anything, ever. If a woman or if a significant other has unnecessarily called the police on you, meaning that you didn't actually do anything, that person is a danger to you. And that person has shown that they are willing to take the gun, load, throw a bullet in it, cock it, and then hand it to a police officer. And that is how I see that's how I see the situation when a woman calls the police on you. And oftentimes, ladies are in their emotions and they don't think through their actions. But that is one action, at least for me, that's unforgivable. And I think we would all be much safer if we dealt with women that didn't cry wolf, if you know what I mean. So. Once again, bring everything down. If you happen to be the, a gentleman whose significant other puts their hands on them, you need to start planning your exit and you need to get the hell out of there because that stuff's not normal and you're gonna get yourself into trouble. And I prefer that as few of us end up behind bars as possible, especially behind the say-so of a woman. That's it. I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Uh, once again, like, subscribe, uh, hit that notification bell, uh, share it with your friends. If you have any questions, feel free. And again, my name is Alvin and I was your host. Erica Badu said it best. I'm an artist, I'm sensitive about my shit. Um, I'll catch you guys on the next one, peace.